Hello, my name is Cynthia Komen, and I'm a faculty librarian here at Hudson Valley Community College. During this tutorial, I will tell you about magazines, newspapers, and academic journals and discuss the difference. Many times your professors will ask you for an academic journal for your research paper. They also might refer to it as a scholarly, peer-reviewed, professional, or academic journal. All of these words uh, sort of mean the same thing, but we're going to talk about them a little bit more in depth. So first what we're going to discuss is peer-reviewed. Peer-reviewed is when an article is written by a scholar in a field of interest like psychology. The scholar submits the article to a journal for publication. The publishers of the journal send the article to two or more reviewers who are peers in the same field. The reviewers read the article and comment on its validity and reliability. If the reviewers feel the article is good research, meaning it's valid and reliable, it becomes published and printed in a journal. And that's how you get the peer-reviewed academic journal. Peer review is a process, and that is the process that it goes through what I just talked about. Okay, so academic journals sometimes have the word journal in the title, many times they do. The articles are normally longer, about five or more pages, and there are no colorful pictures, but there are graphs and charts. As you can see on the slide here, the pictures show AJN, which is the American Journal of Nursing, the Canadian Journal of Criminology and Criminal Justice, Applied and Basic Social Psychology. Notice there's no journal in that title, but it is still a scholarly peer-reviewed journal. And then Science, which is the premier journal in science, and notice there is no journal in the title either for that particular journal. Okay, so let's move on to magazines. We talked about the peer-reviewed process for academic journals, but magazines have no peer-reviewed process, so they are not peer-reviewed. These are more of your popular literature, popular magazines. The articles are normally shorter, one to two pages, and there's lots of pictures and ads. So on the slide here, I have several descriptions of magazines. Oprah, the O magazine. People, popular photography, actually has the word popular in it, so it's a popular magazine. And Vogue. So as you can see, the difference, and if I can just go back to these pictures of the academic journals, very um, plain, some pictures, a little bit of color, mostly um, scholarly information, mostly words. And then we have the popular magazines, lots of color, lots of pictures, and you can really notice the difference when you compare the two. Okay, so here we're going to do a little exercise so that you can pick the magazine. So give you a few seconds to decide which one you think it is. Okay, and there you go, Magazine Rolling Stone. And then we'll do the same for the journal. So again, give you a few seconds to decide. Okay, and Shakespeare Quarterly is the journal here. GQ is a magazine. Okay, so that is journals and magazines. Now we're going to move on to newspapers. A lot of people read newspapers online now, so you might be more familiar with the screenshot of thetimesunion.com, looking at that for information for newspaper articles. But also notice on the side there's lots of other ones that are still printed today, and those include the New York Times. Again, the Times Union is also printed, so I've included that. Los Angeles Times, there's the Chicago Tribune. All of these are very prominent newspapers, and you can find them here in our library databases. Okay, so where can you find the journals and the magazines and the newspapers? You can find them all in our library databases. You can use the OneSearch um, search function to find the information, and for more information on that, you can watch the tutorial on how to search OneSearch. For newspapers specifically, we do have separate databases for them. So I'm just, that's what I wanted to share with you there, during this tutorial. 
If you need additional help, please visit the Ask a Librarian link located at this URL here on this slide. We're more than ready to help you. You can make an appointment with us, stop by the reference desk and ask a question, or you can do online chat or text. So thank you very much.